welcome everybody in this video I am going to write Python program to compare three number so let's start so here first of all we will take three variable suppose first variable is x it is initialized to 0 second variable is y it is initialized to 0 third variable is z it is also initialized to 0 now uh, here we want to compare three number so that's why here we need to check some set of conditions and in Python we know that in order to check condition we use if else statement so let's start with if statement so the first condition that I will check is whether x is greater than y and x is also greater than z if this condition is satisfied then I can say that x is greatest now if this condition is not true then I will check next condition so the next condition will be like this whether y is greater than x and y is also greater than z so if this condition is satisfied then I can say that y is greatest now if this condition is also not true then what I will do I will go for next condition so here I will check whether z is greater than x and z is also greater than y so if this condition is satisfied if this condition is true then I can say that z is greatest okay now if this condition is false then I will check next condition so which is next condition suppose whether x is equal to equal to y and x is equal to equal to z so here I am checking whether values of x y z are equal so if this condition is true then I can say that x comma y comma z are equal now if this condition is not true if this condition is false then what I will do I will check next possibility so here next possibility is that x is equal to equal to y so please try to understand that in previous condition we checked whether x y and z whether all are equal okay so if they are not equal then I will check whether only x and y are equal so if this condition is satisfied C then I can conclude that x y are equal and greater than z fine now if this condition is not true if this condition is false then what I will do I will check next possibility whether x is equal to equal to z okay see here we compared whether uh, all are equal if not then we compared whether only x and y are equal if not here we will check whether only x and z are equal so if this condition is satisfied then I can conclude that x z are equal and greater than y okay now if this condition is also false then only one possibility is remaining so that's why here I will not take elif directly I will take only else part right so in this else part I will write that final possibility so here which is final possibility so the final possibility is that y z are equal and greater than x so here now I have written all conditions that are required to compare this three number so now let's verify whatever program that we have written is working properly for all combinations of x y z or not so see here the first combination that we have taken is all zero so let's run this program so now let's take next possibility 0 0 1 okay so here we should get message like z is greatest so see here we are getting same message now let's take next possibility that is 0 1 0 now here I should get message like y is greatest so see here y is greatest now let's take next possibility 0 1 1 here I should get message that y and z both are equal and greater than x so see here I will get I am getting message like this y and z they are equal now let's take next possibility 1 0 0 so here I should get a message like x is greatest so see we are getting correct output now let's take next possibility 1 0 1 so here I should get message like x and z both are equal and greater than y so let's verify it so see x and z are equal 
and greater than 1 now the next possibility is 1 1 0 okay so here i should get message like x and y both are equal and greater than z so let's verify so see x and y are equal and greater than z now last possibility 1 1 1 so here i should get message like x y z all are equal okay let's see how all these conditions will be verified how all these conditions will be checked one by one so let's take one test case suppose x is 0 y is 1 and z is 1 okay so if we have this combination of x y z then how all these conditions will be checked one by one so let's try to understand it so here i will write same values of x y z so see x is 0 y is 1 and z is 1 so in this case what will happen with this particular condition right so here we are checking whether x is greater than y so whether x is greater than y false then we are checking whether x is greater than z whether x is greater than z again false so see here first condition is false second condition is false so that's why this and operator will return false okay so overall result is false so that's why whether body of if statement will be executed no right so here we need to check next condition so here again we will check whether y is greater than x so see here x is 0 y is 1 so whether y is greater than x yes condition is satisfied condition is true right so this condition is true what about this second condition whether y is greater than z so see y is 1 z is 1 and we are checking whether y is greater than z right so here i can say that this condition is false okay so see here first condition is true second condition is false so what this and operator will do and operator will return false because we know that and operator returns true only if both conditions are true if any one of the condition is false and operator is going to return false okay so overall result of this condition is false right so that's why this print statement will not be executed we need to check next condition so here we are checking whether z is greater than x so whether z is greater than x yes it is true okay so this condition is true then what about this second condition whether z is greater than y no this condition is false right so here overall result will be false so this print statement will not be executed and we need to check again next condition now here we are checking whether x is equal to equal to y and x is equal to equal to z no here both conditions are false right so again here overall result will be false this print statement will not be executed again we need to check next condition now here we are checking whether x and y are equal again no false okay so this condition is false this print statement will not be executed we need to check next condition now here we are checking whether x and z they are equal again no okay so this condition is false this print statement will not be executed and finally by default what is going to happen the statement that we have written in else part will be executed so which is the statement that we have written in this else part so see print y and z are equal so see whether y and z are equal yes and greater than x so see y and z are equal and greater than x so in this way all these conditions will be checked by this program for this input combination thank you